you know, whole like, you can have it all, you can have it all. Yeah, sure, if you want to have no sleep and no sense of boundaries and constantly burnt out and no time, no energy, you can have it all. <laughs> Why would anyone want to have it all? I was a bit much. Well, hello everyone. So today is Easter Sunday. I decided to treat the kids, um, RG and I, uh, to a little staycation. We're going to be staying in Row Park Valley. It really doesn't matter where the kids go, to be honest. They just kind of like the novelty of staying in a hotel. Honestly, they're happy enough to have a little swim, um, have a nice dinner, and then yeah, next day we'll have a nice breakfast and go for a long nature walk. We're on our way. RG and the weekends. Um, this would be the exact same road that I was driving along. Anyways, we go to the pool now, so bye. We going just on the hotel. Are we going on a little nature drive and a little nature walk? We thought we will go back to the Row Park Resort. The last time I was there was over 10 years ago. Basically, it was where my girlfriends took me for my bachelorette. So it was really special to return back, you know, with my two children and with RG. I was very nostalgic. Um, I remember looking at the window and I saw like me and my girlfriends walking in all bright eyed, we're all babies, we're very young and yeah, so weird and I looked behind me and literally like my kids were in the room. I'm glad I was able to take them to the north coast. Now when we were at Musseldon, Argy actually told me that was the original place he had planned to propose before Isaac sort of pressured him to do it right here when I was doing the bins. So Argy enjoys using the sauna and whatnot but what he loves the most is just splashing around with the kids so he was like go on you know, you go do your thing. So, and momentarily, you know, I remember just sitting in the sauna and I looked out the glass door and just a few I got, just my favorite people playing together. It just really warmed my heart. I remember coming out of the sauna room and then getting into the pool and the light was just coming in. And I think it was that with like, you know, the spa music. I just remember feeling like so much gratitude. Good old skipping rope fun. Okay. My turn! Okay. Ready? Go. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. No. Okay, try like this, I said. Jump. Jump. Okay. Jump. What this? <laughs> like, like that. You show the limbo now. <laughs> Level one. Level two. Uh -huh. Level two. Oof. Keep is actually something on your back. Level three. Oh my height. Yeah. Oh, very good. Can you do this one? Hey, you bent your legs. <laughs> You're bending your legs. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, so it has been a couple of weeks since I started the online coaching with Kyle again and I have to admit at the beginning I was a bit afraid but thankfully Kyle has been wonderful. He's just been easing me into it and gradually building up my reps as I build strength. For the final round, I recorded the exercise for Kyle so he can assess and that's why it really helps because I feel like this time around, um, after getting his feedback, I feel like I'm doing the exercises in a better form so I'm getting more of a effective workout. Let's take you guys out for a dander. Walkies?
Did you like our little vacation? What was your favorite part? Pool. You like the pool? Yeah. What do you like about Isaac? He makes me laugh. Isaac makes you laugh. What do you like about Blue? Oh, oh no, it's one more thing about Isaac. And that um, he always helps me with math. Oh. <laughs> okay. And what do you like about Mummy? She does everything. And, and she what always gives us hugs. Oh. And what do you like about <coughs> He gives us sweeties all the time. My goodness. about Ayla? Funny. She's funny? Yeah. And what do you like about mommy? That mommy's mommy. And what do you like about... He gives us sweeties. Oh my goodness, he must give you guys so many sweets. Remember you're asking me how he's being bored, good for you. Mm -hmm. When we cuddle, we don't do anything, right? But you still like it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you rather cuddle than play with toys, right? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, so sometimes it's okay to sit in silence. If anything, we need it. You understand? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Just take deep breaths. How does a camera work? By the time I upload this, Easter break is probably over. But right now, I all the parents, I'm thinking about you. Sending help. I mean, like, it has been great, basically. Um, but, oh my goodness, the days has been long. And often I'm asked, what's the most challenging thing um, about being a parent? And my answer has always been, the burnout is real and the burnout is frequent. Like, I really felt it this week. I remember, like, my friends were asking me, like, oh, now that RG's there, are you getting more help around the house? And I don't think like people realize that like um, RG works five days a week and those days is when the kids are with me. And um, yeah, like he leave the house at like half five and he won't come home till like eight. The kids are pretty much ready to go to bed or in bed. It's really been lovely having RG with us. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, you know, the load has been more and of course you do it with love, but you know, the burnout really is real. By the time we get to the weekend, I'm just, I'm just so burnt out. Like, I just don't even have it in me to draw. I've been doing a painting and I just haven't had the time to do it. And how do people adult? How do they juggle everything? You know, how, how do you look after yourself and your mental health? And how do you exercise and, you know, do things for yourself? How do you look after your kids? How, genuinely, how do... How do people do it all? I feel like the answer is they don't. You know, whole like, you can have it all, you can have it all. Yeah, sure. If you want to have no sleep and no sense of boundaries and constantly burnt out and no time, no energy, you can have it all. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to have it all. <laughs> Why would anyone want to have it all? Anyways, Kyle sent in my meal plan. Um, so I'm going to check that out. He sent it days ago, but um, things have just been a bit busy. I really appreciate Kyle being so gentle with me, you know, because it's obviously been a while since we worked it together. So it was a bit, mm, but thankfully he's just eased me into it. My very first exercise he gave me was like 10 minutes. And then there were 10 minutes for a while, and then it was 15 minutes, and then it was 20 minutes. And even still, like the 10 minute exercises, I was in pain the next day. So it just meant I didn't have to work out a single minute more. You know, gradually he's building up my reps and my sets and my strength. So now that I'm more into my exercises, um, he's sending in my nutrition. He never likes to go straight to nutrition because he feels like they kind of come hand in hand. Like the more you work out, the better you will want to eat. I started to gain weight when I was doing my PMU because I probably spent several months at it and I didn't regret it, really loved it, but I was amazed 
how fast um, the weight kind of like piled on. And then I ran for a while, really loved it, um, became a little of a long distance runner. And then I took a break again because I wanted to be my art. Well, more weight piled on again. I get that I'm no longer in my 20s, you know, maybe my metabolism just isn't as fast as it used to be. Um, back then, you know, we used to go to Tim's mom's house a lot and she would make the most delicious and healthy food. So I ate so well with Tim's mom and I think that was a huge part of it once I started having to cook for myself. A lot of the meals that I make is really based around the kids. The kids love pasta, they love rice and so do I. Well, they're so carb dense. I talked about it with some friends of mine and we're like, okay, this is a new era. You know, I've never been this number on the scale before but i want to embrace it i don't want to focus on the scale as well when i first started exercising i remember just thinking mm, okay something that i i really have to do but i know it's only been a couple of weeks but i can really say i'm, in, I'm really enjoying the workouts that kyle is sending me i just hate having to work out what i need to do what i need to because i have enough mental load so it's really nice when someone tells me exactly what i need to do but yeah i just want to have a better relationship with food and um, exercising. And most importantly, I want to have fun doing it, you know? Like, I want to be around for my kids for a long time. So um, in order for me to want to do those things with my children in the future when they're older, I need to build a strong foundation. Hey, Lindy, hope you're well. I'm gonna put the glasses on so I can look all professional. I uh, hope you're having <laughs> a lovely Easter. I'm just um, going through his meal plan and making my grocery list. He asked me what sort of foods that I like. So he knows like for breakfast, I'm a savory girl. This sort of like sweet breakfast is not really my thing. So it sort of caters around me, you know, he's got like bulgogi, you know, pad thai. He's got a bunch of Asian recipes for me because he knows I like my Asian food. 